shit. <laughs> okay. Never switch up. Yeah, hold on. Wasn't no food but rice. All of these bitches, they want me, but they get one night. They match your hair. Ketchup flavored chips. We crossed the border, baby. We made it. We did it. Switching up, but that ain't what we on. I stood a king with the crown, can't get a tense, show some respect in my down. She only get one night, huh? I dig it down, what's the pipes? Hey. 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 Shit, I didn't know what the fuck to expect. But we can't down now. We fucked that shit up. That shit was lit as fuck. Man, I'm talking about every fucking stage is crazy. Met like mad fucking fans too. Yeah. Miles Parks McCullum, aka Lil Yachty, was born on August 23rd, 1997, in Mableton, Georgia. While attending Pebble Brook High School, that boy Yachty was working at Mickey D's flipping them burgers, fam. He grew up listening to Coldplay, Big Soldier, Young Draco. So, who's your number one, though? I heard you're like really into Soldier Boy. Like, he's a huge influence. Yes. Man. What was it about Soldier Boy that you took to so much? I don't know. It just the way he came up. It was different. It was a whole new, like, wave. Like, the whole way he took over the internet. I followed kind of in his footsteps, in a way. Kanye, and that boy Lil B, the bass god. And you can clearly tell how much of a fan Yachty was of Lil B. Like, if you go to my DMs with Lil B, because he follows people back, it go all the way back, like, 2010, me just blowing up his DM. All, it's like 20 DMs, and when you come to now, he responds. I said, Lil B made it okay to pay for pussy. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know. I was just, I don't know. I'm a big Lil B fan. So I used to like basically damn near anything he said was okay. Oh, and if you ever wonder why Yachty even calls himself that or Lil Boat, here's why. Out of all the things you could be, why a Lil Boat? I don't know. <laughs> why did you pick a Lil Boat? Honestly. It's kind of flat now that I see everything, how you made it all together, not yeah. the sale team and everything like that. Yeah. But where did the whole boat boat come from? Um, I was in a, in high school, I was in a group called the Yacht Club. Okay. Yeah, and I was the youngest one, and so I caught myself Lil Yachty. And so that's where Lil Yachty came from, and then Lil Boat, um, I kind of was in a studio one day freestyling, and I said that. Lil Boat. Mm -hmm. so it was like, now, Yachty's dad, Shannon, was actually a photographer whose career included portraits and documentary work of rappers like Too Short, Outkast, and others. His mom, Vanita, actually named Yachty Miles after the American trumpeter Miles Davis. Yachty would attend Alabama State University in fall of 2015, but he would publicly say how much he hated that shit. I went to college and it was horrible, and then I knew <laughs> music was the prime. Yeah, like, exactly. Where'd you go to college? Alabama State. And it just wasn't for you? It was trash. His mom even said in her book, the whole time he was at school, he kept saying he didn't want to be there. He kept saying that he was supposed to be rich and famous. He wasn't supposed to be in school. Crazy enough though, in September of 2015, Yachty and his boy actually got caught at the mall with a bunch of fake credit cards while shopping at Lids, bruh. They were charged with fraud, forgery, and counterfeiting, according to Palm Beach County Jail Records. From there, he would drop out of high school and move back to Georgia. And from there, he would link up with producer Burberry Perry and K Supreme. They would get together to grind making songs in his bedroom, using mics with socks in them. He would actually get a little taste of success when Drake's OVO Sound Radio aired his song Minnesota. From there, he got hooked up with Coach K, the founder of Quality Control Music, and began recording at the same Atlanta studios as the Migos. At this point, Yachty was buzzing like heavy, bro, especially in the SoundCloud realm. I told the six when I chill on the six, I got hella bricks, hella bands, cutting through many stuff as I should breeze like a cellophane. One of the earliest pieces of music that's on SoundCloud from Yachty is his Summer Songs EP from 2015. I've 
He even did a legendary show in LA right before he truly took off in early 2016. The crazy thing is though, at this time, Yachty got in contact with Ian Connor, who actually hooked him up with modeling for Kanye's Yeezy Season 3, The Life of Pablo release party at Madison Square Garden. And I remember this being a little headline with people talking about a kid who had red hair or whatever. Look what Yachty actually said not too long ago about this day. He said, today, five years ago, I stood in the Yeezy show. I was still living with my mom and flew on a buddy pass to New York with probably 70 bucks to my name. But I was mad excited and I feel like my life changed from this day on. My mom and friends cheered me on via text. Thanks, Ian. That's pretty dope if you ask me. And I'll be honest, I didn't know who Yachty was at all until I went to a Young Thug concert like March or April that year in Manhattan. It was actually Young Thug's High Tunes tour for the album that never came to be, but yeah, Yachty opened up for him. I think it was him and Rich the Kid. <laughs> And I'll never forget hearing this particular song when he came out. which actually isn't on Spotify or Apple Music anymore because Nintendo. But I remember being like, yo, this is fire, boy. Who is this? And then some dude next to me was like, dude, are you serious, bro? You don't know Lil Yachi, dude? He's so lit. And I was like, shit, he definitely is. We also got to talk about a viral video that spawned early of this year too. Artist slash comedian Kayleon Fox made a video using the song One Night in it, and that shit skyrocketed one night to all new heights, bro. Yachty even admits it plenty of times. Before then, was the song gathering steam on its own or um, was it yeah. just something yeah, he yeah, just yeah, discovered? Yeah. It's just, it, once that happened, it really blew up, you know? Like millions on millions on millions, you know what I'm saying? And I think now would be a good time we talk about the legendary mixtape he dropped on March 9th, 2016. Lobo! <laughs> But I can't have no wife. Hey, but anyways, this mixtape is low key legendary. Matter of fact, actually, you know what? High key legendary. Quick side note though, I can't express how much I miss these times, bro. There was just something about the aura around 2016 that just felt fun fresh new exciting it was just a whole new wave of these young soundcloud rappers that were just exploding onto the scene and it was just fun as hell because it seemed so organic and natural you know what i mean it felt like you and me just making fun music on soundcloud for the hell of it you know with rappers like famous dex especially famous dex huh a dexter huh. oh man god damn oh what um yeah ugly god uzi fucking who playboy cardi kodak trippy x Lil pump smoke perp like the list goes on and on bro but yeah back to low boat right now i am feeling a decent to strong seven on this thing this tape of course has songs like minnesota one night and wanna be us which are classics but songs like good day up next two and intro are some of my favorites on here Man, today's a good day. Who remembers when the intro had the Finding Nemo sample though? When life gets you down, you know what you gotta do? I don't wanna know what you gotta do. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Classic. Until they took it off, cause you know, Finding Nemo. Also, I still think One Night is one of the dopest music videos I've ever seen, to this day. I know that must have took hundreds of hours to make, bro. And speaking of the One Night music video, I can't believe I just found my comment from my old YouTube channel. Look at this shit. Dope shit. Here before 20k views. 
Fam, that's crazy, yo. And look how many views it has now. Yeah, I was there early, fam. <laughs> and of course, we can't talk about 2016 without mentioning this smash hit, bruh. Hey, little mama, would you like to be my sunshine? Yachty at this point had become a superstar in his own right, and in June of this year, he ended up announcing that he signed a joint venture record deal with Motown, Capitol Records, and Quality Control Music. Yachty was even a part of Rolling Loud early, bruh. It was like the second ever Rolling Loud, if I'm not mistaken, in May of 2016. Who is Lil Yachty? You know what I'm saying? The nigga with the red hair, the nigga with the braids, you know what I'm saying? 100,000 bitches around me, you feel me? The nigga with the melodies, you feel me? That's me, you feel me? Don't ask who that is because you know who that is, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't know by then, you know by now, you feel me? Slow boat. Yeah, you guys know what's coming next. The most viewed double XL cipher of all time. Probably because of me, I'm not gonna lie. Wasn't no food but rice. All of these bitches, they want me, but they get one night. Fuck them. I give a fuck what you saying. Bitch nigga, no, I ain't playing. The 2016 freshman class is one of the most talked about controversial legendary classes of all time it's just so legendary and while the pot was still hot that boy yadi gave us another mixtape with summer songs 2 on july 20th 2016 i remember like it was yesterday when this dropped if i'm not mistaken it was exclusive for apple music and it seemed as if it came out at the right time well, young bro, i'm the king of the scenes we survived through the breeze with such ease bankroll out the bankroll i spin I'm pretty sure while making this, there was probably a ton of pressure to recreate that Lil Boat sound or to just continue on that same path. And in my opinion, looking back at it, he did a good job. It's still a blend of that melodic Yachty with the rapping mix Lil Boat shit. So yeah, it came out pretty dope. He also has a song on here called For Hot 97, which that came to be because of the little beef he had with Ebro from Hot 97. You guys remember that? Long story short, they kind of made Yachty freestyle on Hot 97. In the beat. And he was clowned all over the internet for how bad the freestyle was. And Ebro, with his old head mentality, just couldn't understand the new wave. They were just trying to have fun and turn up, while he was honestly hating on the new generation, saying that they can't rap and whatnot. They kept going back and forth on Twitter and a funny ass Twitter beef. So Yachty ended up making this song to kind of prove that he got bars and shit. Stop all that flex and woke up all my niggas. Like stop all that rest. I might have my OG come and do a little press. Another rapper. With Lil in their name is offended. Another high school ass rapper is offended. He sounds like they love him too. <laughs> rapping about nothing. These, you know what? All these young men. All these young men. Stop being so bitch made, man. Get your bars up. Be mad. I don't care. I'm not here to be your friend. Well, all right. <laughs> I still got to talk about 2016 for a sec though, fam, because this man Yachty was dropping or was a part of so many SoundCloud bangers that you probably forgot about or didn't hear before. Let me remind y'all of some of them, but be careful. This is a nostalgia overload warning. Three, two, one, go. Like a bitch. 
Damn, my neck shine like a bitch. Damn, my wrist shine like a bitch. I know one day when at the party. All these other rapping niggas, sorry. Right wrist, give you chill. Yeah, bitch, what's my name? Bitch, fucking for the fame. Now I don't give a fuck, she gon' give me brain. Damn, what's up to all wrist to All these bitches on my car. All these bitches on my dick. Whoa, I think that that city we next. Fake watch wearing nigga. No walk getting nigga, little nigga. Fairy tale living nigga. Whoa, nigga. On Instagram taking pictures. I get more bitches than we ain't stop. Dope in my sock, got the fiends hot. Watch out for 12. Niggas be snitching, no snitch on your bells. Bought them little dicks, fucking bitches, I yell. Don't you hate when a bitch think that we need you, bitch? Hop on your knees, all this dick, I'm a bitch. That nigga quit bitching, I ball like a piston. Them diamonds go fishing, they might hurt your vision. 22 shots at his neck if you try me. Stack it up, Canada. Stack it up, Canada. Stack it up, Canada. Top of the food chain. Damn. Nigga might snatch up your food game. Damn. Most of these niggas is food, man. Hey, I only show affection when I get an erection. I got bitches in the city trying to get in my section. Only time I drink soda when I drink wine. Only time I'm geeking off is when I pop a bean. A nigga fuck with case of friend and he fucking with me. Am I the only one who really care about cover art? Growing up, I ain't have my brother cause he said the streets gave him a fresh start. Move just like Jason, bitch, don't trust my patience. Bitch, money, my order, I'll ball check my floor to go grill in my mouth and my bitch by my side, nigga, just like the Joker. Get the guap and I Ay. run it, the guap and I, I get the guap and I flip it. Ayy, ice on my wrist, look like syphilis. Boy, I'm just living my dreams. Gotta get it by me. I'm the king, get a team. It's ballin' like a half. I picked the right. I could keep going too, but let me stop spamming y'all with these bangers. And let's talk about the little beef he had with Big Soldier. Boy, you black as hell, boy. You ugly as fuck. Your hell look like Twizzlers, boy. I snatched them fucking bees out your motherfucking head, you little bitch ass nigga. Nigga, I don't even fuck with you. Your music whack as fuck. You call my management, tell me I need to meet Soldier. I met your bitch ass at my house. You was whack. I heard your song one night on, oh, bro. That shit was lame as fuck, nigga. You was a groupie. You talking about, soldier, I look up to you. I'm your biggest fan. But look, bro, when I see you, I'm going to beat you, bro. On my mom. I'm going to beat your motherfucking ass, bro. And tell QC to stop calling my fucking phone. Stop playing with me, nigga. Big soldier, nigga. You ain't never even met this bitch in your life, nigga. I've been, I been rocking with this girl for years, my nigga. I slap the shit out you, nigga. Fuck, little boat. Of course, soldier boy always got to beef with somebody, right? Old ass nigga called soldier boy. Put that middle fingers in there right on the phone. Put the middle fingers on right now. Hey, that's not good. Take down the TV, you say? All right, man, on the count of three, I want to hear fuck soldier boy. One, two, three. Fuck soldier boy. Washed up, old ass, dirty ass, nigga. Don't nobody listen to that soldier boy no more. Suck my motherfucking dick, bitch. Yeah. One, two. So basically, it was all over a girl, bro. Like, literally, that's all this was about. You can see the screenshots here, and Soulja obviously blowing it out of proportion, and basically burned the bridge that he had with Yachty. It's a shame, too, because Yachty looked up to Soulja, and honestly was one of the only new rappers, or any rapper, really, that I can recall, that was actually showing love to Soulja. Genuinely talking about how he was the pioneer for all of them, and how his come up was so original, king of the internet, all that. They even did a bunch of songs together before any of this happened. Like I said, it was over a girl i think uh india love or whatever her name is the same girl that got fingered by the game in the park yeah that girl let's get one thing straight i never tell you to drink sprite even if this were a metaphor about cool crisp refreshing lemon lime sprite and i was talking about cool crisp refreshing lemon lime sprite and little yachty here was paid by sprite to write lyrics about sprite call like a sprite soda call like a sprite soda I still wouldn't tell you to drink sprite i'd ask you you want a Sprite? A Dursman deal! <laughs> man, I remember when this came out and being like, hey, that boy Yachty branching out. Unlike a lot of rappers who just stick to rapping. And it's crazy too because every time someone who wasn't really in tune with the new wave of rappers or the quote unquote old heads kind of just used Yachty as the poster boy for the term mumble rap. He was always that metaphor that people would use for rappers who can't rap or 
are quote unquote trash. And speaking of old heads who felt this way, you are happy 24 seven. That is a lie. So that is a that is bullshit. So, and I refuse to have somebody tell me bullshit. I want to have an honest so conversation. When you and and I don't want this to come off like old nigga man shit. It, but it I'm is. It is. Top of scene like Anita Baker. Ooh, hand around the neck when I fuck Undertaker. <laughs> Don't you think about wasting my time? If the phone flip, that's a hotline. Twenty two girls on me, twenty two bros on me. Get bro, don't give me a sweat for free. Fucking with me, they gon' bring them in. Hey, hello tips, cracking all your chips. Hey, dope in that pussy so deep that bitch calling me half a hog. Six months later, I had stopped and now I'm in the game. Went from fake chains to diamonds in another lane. Don't secure the bag, nigga. Uh, oh, hey, back security, that's on my mama, bro. Hey, some little hoe, she ride that dick, yo, go home, flow. 2017 was an interesting year for Yachty. He was nominated for a Grammy for the song Broccoli and was gearing up for his debut album, Teenage Emotions. Kind of weird to say debut album since he was already hot for at least a year now with a couple mixtapes that felt like albums. I'ma fuck his mom just because. But yeah, Teenage Emotions was released on May 26, 2017, receiving some lukewarm reviews, selling 46,000 copies first week, debuting at number 5. Yeah, this album definitely has some bangers, especially FYI and Dirty Mouth. I still go back to those on the regular, but overall, I still think the album has a bunch of skips. Personally, the album is good, not bad, but it's not great either. I remember seeing an article around the time this album came out where Yachty said that there was a ton of pressure to make this album, from the label, from fans especially, and what he wanted to make. But he did say in an interview that he'll know next time what to make. This year you've been nominated for a Grammy, and you also released your debut album. How would you describe your 2017 so far? It's busy. Now, with your debut album, Teenage Emotions, how was the recording process and did it turn out how you expected it to? It was a learning lesson. You know, it was my first album. You know what I'm saying? I kind of just did it the way I wanted to do it. And I don't regret it because, you know what I'm saying? Every song I put on that album, I loved. Like, I made that album on the road. Like, I didn't get to sit and really make the album. It was cool, you know? I just, I just now, you know, I know now for my next album what to do and what not to do. So, it was a good learning lesson. Hold on, hold on, trip, 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 hold on, hold on, trip. Trip. Who said my name? Hold on, hold on, trip. Trip, you can't leave yet, trip. Why say that? What you got, DJ? What you doing, trip?
That shit was legendary. But yeah, in 2018, Yachty would drop two studio albums, Low Boat 2 and Nothing to Prove. Kept it short cause I ain't jibs. She gon' let me fuck, she like that Lobo at lib. Hold on though, hold on though. I gotta mention that the intro for Lil Boat 2 wasn't actually gonna be self-made. It was actually gonna be another song where I don't know which one is better. Cause don't get me wrong, I love self-made. But this song actually feels more like that original Lil Boat sound. So, I don't know, they're both fire. But I wish this would've got released officially. Wow. Down that boat here. Uh, intro, intro, rich nigga central, VBS dentals. Mm. Spent one sis, that's to watch. To watch. Goddamn, think I need a new hobby. New hobby. I get a whole lot of guap, guap. I get a whole lot of guap, guap. I get a whole lot of guap. Banging out the motherfucking back door. Yeah, you sipping, but you not sipping act though. Same bitches covering all up on my cock now. Twenty bitches and they all coming with me. Try to take one of my chains. All you gon' hear is a boom. Low Boat 2 debuted at number 2 and sold 64,000 copies first week, which was definitely an improvement from his previous project, but it did get a lot of shitty scores though. Me personally, I felt as if it has its moments, but a lot of it was forgettable. I don't know man, calling it Low Boat 2 was a brave decision, because you really gotta live up to what the first project did and how it sounded, but it didn't really have that Low Boat sound to begin with in my opinion. 66 is a classic though. Now for nothing to prove, I ain't gonna lie fam, the only thing he proved with this tape was that it was kind of booty cheeks. I mean, for the most part, it just didn't really hit for me. And I haven't gone back to this since it dropped. Other than Yacht Club and Get Dripped, those are absolute bangers. Running up bands, got my guap, yeah. All the bad hoes on the top, yeah. I mean, they beat with me. I do this in my sleep. The single for this tape, Who Want the Smoke with Cardi B and Offset? Come on, bro, that was forgettable. Boxing in the whip, I don't even smoke, but we drop, toss and let it rip. The scores weren't that great either. Hey, at least the cover art is fire. Yo, you guys remember this song? I ain't gonna lie, this shit actually kinda slapped though. For the bitch, she got a virginity, cause then she gonna really be in between 50 shots on my rock for the enemies. Actually, we were all, we're literally always together at all times. We, we shared a room mm. when he took me in. He, he like shared his room with me, shared his clothes with me. Now, we definitely got to talk about what happened with his longtime best friend and the rest of his crew, the sailing team around this time. The good Perry, formerly known as Burberry Perry, because, you know, Burberry, is really one of the key reasons Yachty had that sound we all fell in love with. That melodic, fun, low boat sound came from all those beats that Perry was producing for him. But it seemed as if the more mainstream Yachty got, the relationship and contributions to Yachty's project started to fade more and more as the time went by. Perry wasn't involved in any of the projects Yachty put out this year. Now, why you might ask? Well, we'll never know all the details and behind the scenes of stuff, but in early 2018, Yachty responded to a fan on Twitter saying, this, although he did confirm that they were cool again in late 2018. In Yachty's second interview with No Jumper, Yachty briefly touched on the sailing team and what happened between them. I saw something in everyone in the sailing team, but it didn't work that way for everyone. Everyone didn't have the same vision I had for themselves. How much money I spent on these kids who don't care about themselves? You can't want something from somebody who don't want it for themselves, you know? So then I had to just scale back a little bit and kind of do my own thing, you know what I'm saying? And then he mentions it again in an interview with Kerwin Frost, where he goes a little bit deeper. It got to the point where I was spending so much money, yeah. like almost a million dollars trying to like create this company out of my own money. Right, right. And they didn't want it for themselves. Magazines and um, taking them on tour around the right, world right. twice, getting these hotels and these tour, big tour buses and spending all this money on uniform, custom uniforms and video shoots. Wow. And they were just really lazy, lazy you know what i'm saying yeah. it was like why am i sitting here trying so hard to make you guys like just like my which i don't really like talking about my you know my old best friend perry yeah you know what i'm saying um which who i'm not that close to anymore yeah i never wanted anything from him right, just right. for him to be great right you know yeah but 
that's a long story hmm now that we kind of got some context it makes me think twice about like damn yadi really did his team dirty or did he actually try and help out these dudes gave them opportunities but they just fumbled it that's not really yadi's responsibility at that point he gave them platforms and if they didn't run with it because they didn't have the same drive then screw them yadi gotta focus on his career at the end of the day fam so i kind of get it it just kind of sucks though you know to see him come up with all these dudes for him not to be cool with him anymore it's like damn but it is what it is though you live and you learn i'm the cool man and i'm cooling with the juice man no oj poor deuce inside your soup man just like a million dollars denny i'm in a fan of my bitch got no panties she can't feel her face she did two or three zannies i feel like you definitely bring the energy i try to your interview nigga trippy what's good trippy about to go on what's up trippy what's going down <laughs> Good, Come say hi to my twin, man. Yeah, man. Okay. Nice dude. Whole lot of gang shit. Whole lot of gang shit. <laughs> His breath stink, y'all, by the my way. breath stink. Smell like big gas. <laughs> Super duper dope. Nothing really happened musically for Yachty this year other than his annual mixtape that he always drops every year on his birthday, with this year being the fourth one. Lil Bo 3 was supposed to come out in October of this year, but it was delayed to 2020. But he was in a movie this year. This how we can get our money, cuz. With the weed. I'm in. Too dank to handle. I ain't gonna lie, man. That's some good shit. Damn, our super weed is gone. They got the Bible too, cuz. How high to? Taking off quick, too fast. I'm a tippy toes on the feet of Bono. L still six and over. God, y'all are so loud. Now, I'm going to tell a nigga like I got a million followers. Some things we do for entertainment. Yeah, yeah, I mean, kind of. <laughs> I don't know if I like looking at you like this, bro. <laughs> Back home, I know Prezi, I'm Obama, hey. I remember when this music video dropped, there were many videos that were made about whether or not Yachty sold out, he's part of an agenda, he's doing this solely for hella views, wearing a dress for album sales, you name it. And believe what you want, I thought the video was hilarious. And the song is dope too, so I think the idea of Bopra was pretty funny, I don't know. <laughs> it's a standout track for me when I think about songs from the pandemic. And speaking of songs that came out in the pandemic, Yachty finally dropped his Lil Bo 3 album on May 29th. 9th, 2020. It didn't do too well commercially, only selling 30,000 first week, debuting at number 14, but the quality of this project is gas. It's honestly one of my favorite projects from him and the best in the series to me. I'm gonna be a minute before I walk in, ay. I'm gonna be a bitch before I turn 10, uh. Billy Ben Taker, bitch Sippy Jaeger. Big black picket fence for my neighbors. I'm on it, she on it, we on it, they on it. There's so many bangers on here, bro. My two favorite songs on here gotta be from Down Bad and Don't Forget. Bro, those songs are so underrated, bro. I'm with them soldiers now. Running on bags high. Everyone know me now. It's more to me than a mumble rapper, you know? I would be setting myself short if I settled for that. Like, if I was okay with people calling me a mumble rapper or SoundCloud rapper or One Hit Wonder or whatever the fuck, pop rapper, whatever someone want to say, I would be, I'd be setting myself short, bro, because I rap better than 96% of the new generation. I swear to God. That's a lot, B. That's a big number. Bro, 96%. Yo, bro, it's no rapper from my class and after. Yeah. It's no nigga from my class and after that I can't get on track with and it's going to shit on me, bro. Mmm, how y'all feel about that? With the exception of maybe like X or Juice World or... I mean, yeah, in terms of the SoundCloud rappers, like, Boat really got it. Like, when it comes to his bars, he's kind of underrated. But yeah, towards the end of this year, he ended up dropping a deluxe with Lil Boat 3.5, which included two fire tracks in Flex Up and Coffin. Flex up, flex up, flex up, flex up, flex up.
Low key though, in 2021, this man Bo has been going crazy, fam. If I'm real, niggas know what I'm on. Take the cars I was dealt. Quick take a bitch home. I'ma pull up on the ops, cause I know they plotting. Baby, ask me for some boot, I got dark minds. Walk up on the monster, I had a bed. Blaming me for shit I didn't do, that's incorrect. Walk up, feeling shy, still give me that pussy nicely. 100,000 on the ice, spin a fuck up Pisces. Rest of the sun, fill up breeze. Fucking the whip at the beach. Who said I did what? What did they do? Why the hell are you hating? So damn hard, so I must pay you. Uh, nigga like me can't get laid off. Yeah. Nigga like me never lay up. Uh, how a nigga die on his day off. Jeans, but niggas too soft. See me, I got fair skin. We took the draw, need to walk for the low. Had to do us some calling the girls. In. He's dropped a bunch of heat so far. Except that Michigan boat tape i don't really have anything good to say about that tape to be honest i kind of shitted all over it when it dropped and i kind of still stand by it i don't know it kind of just turned me off right away first listen where is my jeweler too many in cash ain't both i'ma sound some cooler cooler than a bitch ex-boyfriend flexing his moolah like that style of rap like yeah it's cool some songs but i don't know it's just not really for me it's just too all over the place and so off beat like <laughs> I, I just can't do it but he definitely redeemed himself with his birthday mix Six, fam oh my god bro this is my favorite project from him period like this shit is so fire bro it really brings back 2016 vibes man like it's a blend of the melodic shit with the raps too like it's just so fire it's a virgo world for real play my name with a sentence bitch oh all these crumbs i need you on a low yeah. fuck that i need you on a high mm -hmm. all i ever heard was good bro like come on now i truly think at this point in yadi's career he really is underrated like he may not be as hot as he once was in 2016 but he's never fallen off really he's always like been there you know he may not be as big as his peers now like playboy uzi or even trippy to an extent but the way he's found ways to adapt change up his flows melodies link with other rappers to make fire tracks like bro yadi's such a beast bro he's definitely underappreciated i should say that boy went from the sailing team to the concrete boys and still going strong it's crazy how much his entire brand has been like rebranded and i truly do look forward to whatever he drops next because with yadi you never know that's what makes him pretty diverse like yadi but it ain't that but i and i know how you feel though you feel me mm -hmm. like that's why i'm speaking on that too like i feel with yadi definitely but i'm only gonna do this once <laughs> It's pretty weird and wicked. And you guys are like, what the fuck? How do you sit on that? Hmm. I'll show you. All right, that's me sitting like a normal human being on the edge of it. Yes, sitting normal. There's me laying, a sleepy boat, relaxing and living life to the fullest of capacity. Yes. Jungle boy boat, sitting in a curious way. And that's me at the top, because bitch, I'm at the top, bitch. <laughs> well, these shits are so fucking stupid. We, this shit has a, a washer on top of the washer. This shit has a, a, a dryer on top of the dryer. And all these fucking molds. Who the fuck need all these molds, man? Hot and cold. My mama's so extra. We didn't really club. If you can't get in, then just don't go. And we never drunk alcohol. Except for that one time when I was like really, really young and I saw like maybe like a tiny drop of beer in a, in a beer can. And you and drunk I, it? And I drank it. Did you like it? No. It tastes like... Pee? Salty pee. Anybody who puts bacon on the milkshake is sick and will burn in hell. My body is acting up right now. Like, it's just doing crazy things.